Hi, my name is Kelly Moore, and I'm going to be your fifth grade teacher here at BCA this year. I am so excited to be back in the classroom. I enjoy technology. I love technology, but it's nothing like being back in the classroom to teach my kids. What I did for this year, since you won't be able to come in for an open house to ask me questions, I've kind of put together a little PowerPoint. And then if you have any questions or concerns, you're always welcome to email me uh, later on. So a little bit about myself. I grew up in a small town in upstate New York called Ithaca. I graduated from the State University of New York in, at Cortland, I'm sorry, in 1999 with a degree in elementary education and a minor in art history. This will actually be my 22nd year of teaching and I've taught fifth grade for 19 of those years. I enjoy teaching the upper elementary kids. I am certified in Florida to teach kindergarten through sixth grade, and I'm also certified to teach a gifted program, program if needed. Uh, and I'm also certified with the League of Christian Schools, kindergarten through sixth grade. This year, I will have a fifth grader actually attending BCA as well as a seventh grader. And like I said, hobbies, I love technology. I have coding robots at home. Um, I enjoy playing video games with my kids. It's just technology is my thing and I enjoy it. So this is some pictures of our classroom, just so you can have an idea of what it looks like since you won't be able to actually come in before school starts. When you walk into the classroom, if you look at my pointer, there's some cubbies right here. Each one of you has been assigned a number and I have those numbers above the cubbies. So as you come into the classroom, you are welcome to grab your cubby or your little basket. They all have your number on it. And this is where you can store extra materials because I'm just a, in just a moment, I'm going to go over what your desk looks like and you'll see why a basket will be very helpful. At the end of the day though, it's important that we put our baskets back into the cubbies because we want to make sure that the floors are nice and clean for the custodians to come in and clean. All right, so if you look at this picture right here, this is a picture of your desk. It is a lot different from the desk that you are probably used to as it is open on the sides and in the front, and actually it's open on the bottom as well, but I was able to get these little platform things to go into your desk, so hopefully nothing will fall through the bottom. So therefore, it's really important that you stay neat this year because you don't want your items falling out of your desk. The bottom picture is a picture of our classroom right now. As you can see, the desks are spaced apart. They're a little bit over five feet apart from each other, from chair to chair, and they're staggered. So there's tons of room in the classroom for everybody to sit. All right, moving on. Website and contact information. I keep a class website. This is my website right here. It's a Google site. And this is where I post uh, events that are coming up, homework, fifth grade expectations, uh, scholastic information, uh, school calendar, everything that I could think of that might be helpful for a parent. I put on the, my website. So please feel free to visit it as much as you need to. This is my email address right here. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to email me. I keep my email up all day long. However, I may not be able to respond to your email right away, but I will get to it as soon as I can. Now, something that's a little different for those of you that were at VCA last year, last year we did a lot with Boss Dojo. This year, we're moving to a program called Schoolology. And Schoolology is gonna be where we do a majority of our communication, especially since I'm teaching kids online and in the classroom. So let me go over what Schoolology is. It is a program to help make learning and communication easier for the students, the families, and the teacher. Each child will have their own Schoolology account, and this will allow you to view assignments, submit classwork, and receive feedback from myself. During the first few weeks of school, we're really gonna work hard on learning this program. Uh, alongside with the teachers, we're gonna look at exploring new opportunities, et cetera, and how to get to an assignment, how to upload assignment, how to see my feedback. For those of you that are online, there will be a training video that will be provided to help you learn more about the program. And then you're always welcome to email me or call me if you have any questions. All right, for those of you that are coming back to school, 
I missed my classroom, like I told you in the beginning. So it's really important that we stay safe this year so that we can stay at school to learn. Number one, we've got to wear a face mask. We've got to keep it on at all times, unless there's a time where you are socially distant and it is okay to take it off. You need to make sure you have two masks with you at all times, just in case, especially you may want to change one after PE or lunch. So it's always good to have backup. It's important that your face mask covers your nose and your mouth and that you try the best you can to keep your hands off of your face during that day. All right, number two, it's important to socially distance yourself between your teacher and the students. Uh, unfortunately, I, last year I would do a lot of fist pumps and high fives when we got things right in the classroom. This year we're going to have to do a lot of air high fives, which is fine. Hand washing. We need to really encourage hand washing this year. And we, I've actually put in my schedule times where we are designated to just wash our hands. You want to make sure you can wash your hands for a minimum of 20 seconds. Usually what I'll do is I'll sing happy birthday in my head two times. And that helps. Also, I'll go over the supply list, but each one of you was asked to bring hand sanitizer. If preferably unscented hand sanitizer. This is your hand sanitizer. This will stay at your desk. So I will not collect your hand sanitizer. This is for you. Also, number four, belongings. You cannot share. I know there's been times where your friend didn't have a pencil and you let them borrow a pencil. Unfortunately, we can't do this this year. I will have extra supplies that are sanitized if needed, okay? Make sure you don't share your supplies your masks, food. So we will have a snack, but no sharing your snack or your lunches. You'll keep your materials separate from others. And if you want, you can bring your own little pencil sharpener to school too, to sharpen your own pencils. And number five, most important, if you don't feel good and you're at school, please make sure you let me know so that I can contact the nurse and then she will contact your parents as needed. And if you need to sneeze or cough, always make sure you sneeze or cough into your elbow, uh, your shirt, your sleeve, something like that. All right, your supply list this year. I, I, this is just a little overview of everything you'll need. You're going to keep all your materials this year. I won't collect anything except maybe the Clorox wipes and one extra box of tissue. Since we asked for two boxes, I'll store one and I'll store your Clorox wipes, but please label your Clorox wipes because if we clean desks or anything like that, you're gonna use your own Clorox container. All right, so you'll need a one inch binder, preferably with the little cover slip on the front so that I can give you a label sheet, go in the front of your binder so that I know whose binder it is. You'll need, and this binder will have your agenda in it and your Page protectors will also go into your agenda. So if you, or into your binder, I apologize. So if you want to go ahead and put your page protectors into your binder, that's great. And make sure your name is on your binder. Uh, the next thing is six marble composition notebooks. These will be used for math, reading, writing, uh, Bible. Well, I will have labels for you. Each one of you will have your own sheet of labels when you get to school, and I will. Uh, give you your labels so that you can label your notebooks correctly. Just make sure your name is on your notebooks. Like I said, I'm not collecting any of the stuff. This is all for you. Second thing is two reams of wide ruled notebook paper. If you like, keep one at home, put one in your binder so that you have extra paper when you need it. 12 pens. I don't care what color they are. Just please make sure they're not the gel pens because those are hard for me to read. Now, pencil bag. We asked for a pencil bag. I mostly did, as you can see, your desks are wide open. And I noticed that last year, if the kids' pencil boxes fell out of their desks, they usually went everywhere. And most, light, and most times, the pencil box actually broke. So please make sure that you bring a pencil bag. And you can actually go ahead and put all your supplies that you need in your bag. And anything that doesn't fit, just leave at home. And then if you need it later, you can always get it when you go back home. 
uh, two, two pocket folders, preferably with the ones with the little uh, brads in the middle so that we can attach papers inside. One will be for writing and the other one will be your homework folder. One ream of construction paper, you can leave your construction paper at home and I will let you know if, we, if I need you to bring your construction paper to school. Pencils, 48 pencils. You don't need to bring 48 pencils to school on the first day, but you wanna make sure you have enough to make it through the day and then leave your other pencils at home. Uh, crayons, markers, other pencils. Like I said, make sure everything's labeled and you're gonna hold on to everything. Glue sticks, you could always bring two glue sticks in your pencil pouch and leave two at home. Definitely bring your scissors, make sure they're labeled. Now on the school supply list, it did not have a ruler, but if we will be using rulers throughout the year. So if you want to have your own ruler, you can bring a ruler. Uh, your own whiteboard markers. I'm gonna give you your own little whiteboard for the year. So you will need your own whiteboard markers. And if you wanna get a little eraser for your whiteboard, you can do that as well. One pack of page protectors. Like I said, the page protectors need to go into your binder. So you can go ahead and do that. Some erasers, obviously, because a lot of the pencils lose the tips of their erasers quite quickly. Uh, highlighters, box of band-aids, like I said, you'll keep those. One bottle of hand sanitizer, then that will stay on your desk or in your basket, make sure everything's labeled. Two boxes of tissues, one box will stay at your desk and I can hold on to the other box or you can leave it at home until you know that you're running it low. Uh, one container of Clorox wipes, make sure you label it because this is gonna be the container that you use throughout the year. We're not gonna share containers. And then girls, if you'll bring the big gallon baggies and boys, the, the sandwich bags to school, that would be great. And these are so that when I do math manipulative or things like that, I can give you your materials in your own little baggie so you don't share. And like I said, big bold print right here, Please label everything. All right, so I have a chart system in my classroom. This is what I use for behavior. It says, I use a chart system to help monitor your behavior every day. So this is towards the kids. At the end of each week, if you have earned your points, I will contact your parents. And I know I said on here dojo, but it will probably most likely be schoology. And I like to send a positive note. So it may just be in your agenda as well. All right, so your goal is to stay on that first card all day. This card is your master builder card. It shows that you did everything you're supposed to do for the day and you get three points. And that's the maximum number of points that you can get for the day. So that's where you wanna stay. A green is a warning card and that's two points. Now, here's the advantage of a warning. If you got to green, but then you pulled it together, you're having a good day, then you can go back to that first card. However, if you're on green and then you have to go to yellow, that is a parent contact. And therefore I cannot take a parent contact back. So it will have to say one point for the day. And then if you are referred to the office, hopefully that will never happen, you don't get any points for the day. All right, grading. I will put all your grades into RenWeb. Uh, I, will tell my, it, I tell my students that it's their responsibility to look into RenWeb and use it as a guide to turn any work that shows up missing. Uh, if it's blank, it just means that I haven't received it yet and I need to get it as soon as possible. I know sometimes, because I've taught fifth grade so long that you'll turn in assignment, you know you turn it in, but maybe you forgot to turn, put your name on it and then it shows up missing. So always make sure you label your work with your name. Maybe that's the first thing you do when you get your piece of paper, put your name on it. And that way I know whose it is. Luckily, throughout the year, I usually get to know your handwriting, so sometimes I can catch it before it ends up in the trash can. This right here is our grading scale for this year. It is a 10 point grading scale. All right, moving on to homework. This year, students will have minimal homework at this time. 
our goal is to have as little as possible travel from school to home. So my goal is to try and keep as many materials in the classroom as I can. Uh, I will stamp planners when students write down their homework and I'll also make sure that they put in their conduct number for the day. So if they have a three out of three, that means they got all their points for the day. And then I have a stamp that I will stamp their agenda so they know, they, the parents know that I saw that they wrote down their homework because sometimes homework will change off of my website. So it might be a little bit different on my website. Always check your agenda. All right, student-wide expectations. It's important that students are to wear their school uniforms and masks and follow the school guidelines at all times. It's important that students bring their planner to school every day. And students need to be in my classroom by eight o'clock so they don't get marked absent. This is the VCA dress code. It will be in the beginning of the planner. So please make sure you go over it very carefully. It's very detailed. Uh, and it's very important that they follow the dress code so that I don't have to call the parents and have them bring something or to change their uniform out. So this is the dress code. This, these are the accessories that can and cannot come to school. The curriculum this year, we are gonna cover units in reading, spelling, language arts, math, science, social studies, and Bible. Students this year will take the MAP test twice a year in math and reading. Last year we did, or the year before that, it was three times a year. However, we're just gonna do it twice this year. So in reading this year, we're gonna cover the ELA Florida standards in fifth grade using novels and our textbook. Students will participate in AR. Students can order scholastic books through my website until we know how to handle the classroom library during the coronavirus. So please make sure that you check my website out and you want to go if you want to go ahead and order books and they will be here as soon as possible that takes about a week then you'll have your own personal books in the classroom students will receive spelling words weekly each list will contain a pattern to them students will be given a packet to complete weekly the packet is due every friday and this packet will most likely stay in the classroom unless I say otherwise. Students will have a spelling test every Friday. <clears throat> language arts. During language arts, students will learn Greek and Latin roots, diagramming sentences, and writing opinion, persuasive, and informative pieces. And in math, we're going to work on adding and subtracting fractions and all the for fifth grade Florida standards for math. Mrs. Fitzgerald is going to come in on Wednesdays and Fridays to reinforce any concepts that are needed. Uh, and also it's really important, please work with your multiplication facts at home. This is really important, especially in fifth grade so that you can compute your problems quickly without any frustration. In social science, we're gonna learn about world history using the old world and history geography in a Christian perspective book. And science, we are going to investigate nature, mammals, light, earth, sea, engines, sky, weather, vertebrae is using investigating God's world. You will have a STEM, STEM lab still with Mr. Eversall every other week. And Bible, we are going to learn about the Old Testament through possessing the land. Each lesson has a character trait, which we will discuss on day one. So we, I like to start the week with the character trait and the Bible verse for the week. And then usually on Friday, there's a test. And finally, assessing student learning. So this is the some of the items that I'm going to use to help your child become successful in fifth grade. We're going to use unit assessments, story assessments, performance assessments, for example, map, teacher observations during class, long and short term projects, report cards, and star reports. Behind me is my teacher table, and I love to meet with kids one on one. I'm hoping to be able to have small groups a little bit this, this year. How, 
but I know that we will definitely have to have our face masks on in small group, but this will allow me to help any student that needs that one on one attention, other than just being at their desk. So that is it for my PowerPoint. I'm really, like I said, looking forward to being back in the classroom. I'm excited about this year. We're going to have a lot of fun and I just look forward to meeting you. God bless. Bye bye.